one thing was for sure. They both believe Sparks to be a total tool. Be an exciting contest which shows that divorced couples can still have fun together, right? Mythological hero Achilles. C. On the spot dice spin. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stand by. I bet you didn't expect a game show garbage video to come out in May because I said prior that we were going to do these once every two months. Well, a case of writer's block and looking at other videos on YouTube has given me this idea. Now, we've talked about commercials before on game show garbage and mainly they're ones that involve rap. Uh, we took a look at the Chuck Woolery rap commercial for his uh, reality show, Naturally Stoned. And then we saw a pretty terrible rap commercial for Wink Martindale's Instant Recall on Game Show Network. If there's two things that don't go together on game shows almost whatsoever, it's rapping and old school game shows. Speaking about that, let's talk about the year 1990 and the show, of course, on everybody's mind when you think of game show garbage, Tic Tac Doe 1990. We've pretty much covered everything about that show, whether it be the host Patrick Wayne, to these annoying people. You can play good, you can play long. If you pick the dragon, all you got to be gone. Oh, and our dragon slayer. Say gay, say hurrah, say hooray. If you pick the dragon slayer, I'll double your pay. That's the truth. And let's not forget Divorce Couples Week, where I guess in some sort of divorce settlement, they got six episodes instead of five, meaning Dan and White didn't know how, know how many days were in a production week. And also we got the cringiest line from Patrick Wayne. Sure, these couples might be divorced, but that doesn't mean they still can't have fun, right? Exactly. So, there's one more thing about the Tic Tac Doe 90 carcass that I haven't picked yet. When you want to debut a show, a lot of the time you have advertisements and commercials. Now, I want to show you how a game show did a commercial right. This is the 1990 commercial for the premiere of The Challenger starring Dick Clark. Take a look at this. First, he rocked America. He built the pyramid. Now, the challenge begins. Dick Clark hosts the Challengers. The first game show that keeps pace with your world. Play along with Dick Clark and the all-new Challengers. The best news in game shows. You got Dick it. Clark is back on the Challengers. Weekday afternoons at 4.30 on TV8. You see, that is a commercial and it gathers your attention. They hype up Dick Clark, American Bandstand, The Pyramid Shows, both of them quality, and you know when you get Dick Clark, you're getting a quality show. That's essentially what they're saying. They also show off the set. They also talk about the hook of the show being current events. And it just looks like an all-around good show to watch. And honestly, The Challengers is the best show or best news show in 1990 probably the best show of the entire year. But going back to Tic Tac Doe 90, they couldn't do anything right with their commercials. Now we got three of them. Uh, I know there are four out there. One of them's in my collection, but I'm kind of too lazy to uh, bring that one up. If, if I get the hair up my butt, then we will do that one as sort of a GSGN script and we can take a look at other game show commercials uh, later on. So without any further ado, here is the first Tic Tac Doe 90 commercial. Tic Tac is back and it still takes three in a row. Everybody knows Tic Tac is back. It's gotta be an X or an O. That's the way it goes. It's all over the place. Tic-tac, tic-tac, tic-tac is back, and it still takes three in a row. Tic-tac 
Okay. Now there are some things wrong with that commercial and let me tell you why. Sure it shows you tic-tac-toe in so many printed t-shirts like you think they were going off sale like on T-Bubble or something like that. Now the key to a good commercial for a game show is telling you these things. What's the show about? Do you have any footage of the show? Who's hosting it? And does it tell you anything about the show? Uh, it tells you the name of the show. And it gives you the hook of Tic Tac is back. And those are the first four words uttered in this commercial. And immediately I'm thinking, Tic Tac's never left. I could go to the corner store and buy a thing of Tic Tacs for like 45 cents back in 1990. And those things would last me a good solid week. Tic Tac isn't, Tic Tac didn't leave. But despite that, talking about Tic Tac dough, and does it tell anything about the show itself? Essentially, no. It basically says it comes down to X and O. That's the way it goes. Uh, how do you get the X or O by answering? Does it say questions? Is it a quiz show? We don't know what it is. And I'm talking about not returning viewers because maybe you were watching the USA game show block when Tic Tac Doe was on in 1989, early 1990. Maybe you remember the old version. But for new viewers, it didn't tell you a darn thing. It didn't show anything about Tic Tac Doe. Now it did show the host Patrick Wayne, but did you, could you realize, recognize it was Patrick Wayne? Did the commercial tell you it was Patrick Wayne? No, it didn't. And overall, it just leaves a bad taste in anybody's mouth and it just leaves you feeling confused. So that's commercial one. Let's talk about commercial two. Go. <laughs> It's a bit of an overcorrection from the first one. Yeah, there's no stupid jingles or anything. But it's just kind of weird rap-ish type of thing. Weird beats. It goes, essentially it's tic tac do 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 to that effect and they get the tagline at the end saying tic tac is back now back to the questions earlier does it tell you the host no does it tell you what the show is about no does it show anything about the show no so the commercial just is empty. It's hollow. I'm sensing a running theme here. Exactly. So we get to the final commercial that we have available to us right now. Here is commercial three. a beach we're gonna play some tic-tac-doe man yeah hey surfing usa 
no. No. It essentially recycles the jingle from the first commercial, but adds a beach tone to it. And more Tic-Tac-Doe 90 t-shirts. Which, to be honest, I wouldn't mind a Tic-Tac-Doe 90 t-shirt, but I'd rather have it in black than in white. It, it would pop more on a black t-shirt than a white t-shirt. Now, you didn't see Patrick Wayne in the commercial, except for if you look closely. Now, if you take a look at the taxi cab in the commercial, that's where you'll see Patrick Wayne. He's not in the commercial whatsoever. He could have showed up as that lifeguard at the end, you know, in his suit and everything and say, Tic Tac is back, or, you know, mouth Tic Tac is back. And it would have been okay. I mean, it gets Patrick in the commercial, but once again, it doesn't tell you anything about the show. And once again, that Tic Tac is back slogan does not work whatsoever. It just sounds cheesy and awful. Almost as if it was written almost it was as if it was written by the friggin' executives of the show instead of anybody of actual talent. Well, yeah, I can understand that. So those are the three commercials that we have of Tic Tac Doe ninety. If I were looking for a new show to watch and I saw these commercials, I don't think I would watch. Because it tells you nothing about the show. Meanwhile, we have the Challengers commercial that tells you something about the show. We have the Joker's Wild 1990 commercial, which is out there on YouTube. It shows you the show. It has Pat been welcoming you to the show. It shows you what's happening on the show. So... That is, you know, something to look forward to. It might turn you on or off, depending on your taste for definitions and whatnot. And, yeah, it's just bad. Overproduced, undercooked, and tells you absolutely nothing. Anyway, that's going to do it for this edition of Game Show Garbage. Well, I thank everybody for watching. Man, these commercials leave me with some commercialitis or something. You know, these bad commercials and coming down with something. Maybe that's a that could be a name for a show or something on YouTube. Commercialitis. You take a look at bad three bad commercials following on a theme and just rant on them or something. Eh. Maybe... Let's see if we can find that. Maybe, um, maybe we can make a type of penicillin out of it. Yeah. Or, you know, we can do it ourselves. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want the big videos a day before anybody else, you could become a Patreon backer at patreon.com slash gameshowgumbo. Just one dollar a day, and you'll be able to get those videos a day before anybody else. Well, that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Cindy Solomon saying bye-bye.